Columbia, welcome to City View, where we bring you an inside view of the City of Columbia. I'm your host, Leisha Yutsi. In this City View, our top story is the 41st annual Veterans Day Parade. This parade is one of the largest parades in the Southeast that brings awareness to our value of the contributions of our veterans. It is no accident that Columbia um, in the Midlands has been named uh, a great defense community because we love um, the relationship that we have um, with our service members, with Fort Jackson, uh, with um, the Army National Guard. I mean, it's just amazing how our community um, has, has really become a family. And so we want to thank you for your service. Thank you for what you do, uh, not just... Um, overseas and in your service capacity as military, but what you do for our community. During the month of October 2019, several events were held as fundraisers to sponsor and benefit those that are helped by the Mayor's Campaign Against Breast Cancer. Two of those events were hosted by the Columbia Fire Department, which was led by Chief Aubrey D. Jenkins. Recently, Mayor Steve Benjamin was presented with a check following the events in order to outline and announce the proceeds from fundraising. Our firefighters with the Columbia Fire Department actually were waiters at Fats Cafe, and through their tips, they donated those funds to Mayor Steve Benjamin. We have engine uh, 14 and 33, they took part in, the, in this uh, fundraising. Uh, we were here for two days raising funds. The campaign actually went about four days but we had firefighters here for two days, actually um, busting tables, um, serving food. Um, also, we had our Pink Helmet campaign collected tips. The Columbia Fire Department was again back in the news, this time for promotions. Several firefighters were recently promoted within the fire department, and Chief Arbor D. Jenkins was there along with family and friends to wish them well. Every position on the truck has a meeting. Every, every, every last one of them has a specific job to do. So when you see your folks wanting to promote up, um, to take on more responsibility, it, it's just great. All of them being parent tonight, I saw them start from the inception. Uh, even, even the one that's going up to, um, to captains, I saw them begin their career here. Um, so it's exciting to see them at this point, watch them from the beginning, and now to look at them now, how they have progressed through the ranks, and now, you know, they're, they're part, part of supervision here. In an effort to help small businesses grow and develop in North Columbia, Council Members Sam Davis and Ed McDowell recently hosted a business resource forum for business owners in North Columbia and along the North Main and Farrell Road corridors. Council Member McDowell and I, we've, uh, we've been sort of trying to meet with the businesses on the Farrell Road corridor. Uh, in particular to talk about some of the um, assistance and help they need. We've uh, been really trying to make sure that um, the corridor is not left out in all that's being planned in terms of uh, business development, uh, relationships with the neighborhoods that are uh, contiguous to the corridor. We're now from the Resource Forum in North Columbia to the Women's Business Summit which was a statewide summit, and the Office of Business Opportunities partnered with several agencies to bring in business leaders in our community. So many times uh, women feel like, you know, we are taking care of other people and that's kind of our job. Um, so we don't really understand or sometimes don't um, acknowledge that we can be very successful, powerful women in business as well as all the other things that we want to do. And so I think having a summit like this is important because number one, it builds a network of uh, women in business so that you have that um, opportunity to meet other uh, like-minded women uh, that can be your network and, and can be your support system in the business environment. But I think it also allows us to share uh, tools and resources and knowledge so that we all can kind of grow our careers um, in the way that we want to. Once again this year, the Community Development Department sponsored several quarterly all-access forums. The most recent all-access workshop was held at Hampton Park, and they focused on social media safety and also healthy cooking tips. 
And the purpose of our all access events is to bring the community together to talk about different things to help improve the quality of life for our citizens. Recently, Mayor Steve Benjamin, along with representatives from the Parks and Recreation Department, our Forestry and Beautification Division, and Columbia Green, gathered together to plant tree number 10,000 for the 10,000 Trees Program. Planting 10,000 uh, trees and it being representative of, of the entire community making it happen. The wonderful nonprofits and, and volunteers, our, our city corporate, our wonderful uh, staff uh, that, that um, helps with forestry and beautification every single day. Uh, we, this work would radiate in our community parks, our medians, our gateways, and our neighborhoods uh, with the planting of flowers and shrubs and trees that delight the eye and lift the spirit. Well, speaking of trees, it's now time to decorate trees for the holiday season. But not only trees, but also our downtown areas and other hospitality districts throughout the city. Columbia City crews have been actively working to make sure that our city is brighter for the holiday season. Well, now that our City of Columbia crews have made our city brighter and more festive for the holiday season, let's see what we can do to brighten up your home for the holidays. It's also the time of year when Mayor Steve Benjamin was joined by Babcock Foundation officials to announce the 2019 official city ornament. Uh, the incredible work that the Babcock Center has done uh, the last several decades uh, to make sure that um, uh, the folks, that, that our, 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 our children, our, our brothers and sisters, our, our, our mothers uh, and fathers have the opportunity uh, to live up to their God given potential to contribute uh, to the whole of the quality of life here. It's just an amazing mission. And finding ways to, uh, to kind of summarize that in a way during the season that we're giving, uh, recognizing our, our, our history and the value of our culture uh, in ways that bring people together in a, in a very creative uh, fundraising. Opportunity. Please stay tuned to City TV for the latest in news and information. Also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And as always, visit our website at columbiasc.gov for the latest news and information. And remember, we are Columbia. Hey there, Mayor Steve Benjamin here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you give it a like right below the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, while you're here, be sure to check out one of our other videos or follow on our social media platforms. Thanks again, and remember, we are Columbia.